guys so it's early monday morning and i'm going to show you aldi so there's new aldi in bitten house that just opened and i'm going to show you and i haven't been there so this video will be about showing you the new aldi in bitten house and i hope you can see me and the camera is working well okay cool because i'm taking this from the mirror so i really hope and um, i can show you a lot i'm not sure what's new there but it looks bigger than the old Aldi, although it's like the real still on the same place from where the old Aldi was. I probably will show you because then I will walk so that I can show you all of this. And I don't know. Let's go explore it. Okay. See you. Just look at those babies. Everybody needs a bath in the morning, right? The view I get to enjoy. So right there from across the street this building was the old Aldi this particular one so this is the new Aldi just a few cars like I said it's just like right at the intersection or so from this place so oh they're probably bringing new deliveries today so not so far and then behind the truck is exactly where the old Aldi was so like literally at the same place but this is I think a bit bigger than the other one i was really hoping to do videos without people so that you don't have to upset, upset someone because you never know who doesn't want to be in your video but probably it's not gonna happen oh it's good but no problem a good way to tell if there's lots of people is when you see many of these trolleys here you can tell how many people are in or out so that's always good Oh, and it's got some balloons. Well, they'll be open for some time. The bin is already full, so you can see the balloons to adorn the opening of the new Aldi also. Pretty cool. We just got it wrong for the first time. Almost went through the wrong door. It is like a bit difficult because there's this here. And you have to go through this door, so not so cool. Okay, so right from the entrance on the extreme right, I think you can find like the fan station where you can return the bottle, so it's really easy to find. Um, it's right there on this side, in the shop actually, so this is cool. All these using solar. This is good, at least you can see they're, they're really going sustainable. Like this is the plan of Aldi and like on the whole building they have this solar thing really interesting that's nice Aldi keep it up it's good to know you're going solar okay so just saying I do realize that Aldi's got like a wider range of products I think they have more things than they had before so it's probably a good thing I, I would say like they really have more things that they had in the past like their bread range has really increased now which is nice and excuse me if you cannot hear me because it's like I need to have my mask on I have to make the videos so it's like really all oh. okay I do realize they've got like flat bread and I'm right it's new because I know they didn't I don't remember they had this in the other Aldi so yeah they've really really added onto their list okay and I don't know if it's just me but I feel like they've added on to their like bacon list, like the things you can use in making your pastries. I feel like they've added on to this list. But let's see if there's something more. Like they have added on. Oh yeah, they have. This particular brand of flour was not here before, I think. I think they had another brand. I think they had another brand. I think so. Their milk section or their dairy section still looks the same to me. I don't see that much of a difference. Maybe I'll see something later, but it looks the same now. This is definitely new. I think this is also new. They've added now this bread mix. This is new. I think that they have added onto their section. Which is good for people like me who have to shop in i don't know if it's bio no it's not so 
yeah you can still buy more things here oh they have bio dinko meal and that's the sign for bio so yeah you can shop in aldi <laughs> like now i think i can shop in aldi oh yes they have they have just look they offer now lots and lots and lots of options for milk like they have the bio foam milk they have also soya they, they have added on <laughs> now it's good it's you can see in a lot of things and this also i don't remember you i don't remember seeing all of these but good job aldi it's not bad well the uh, fruits list still looks normal to me they seem to have the same kind of fruit list or vegetable list mm, i can't really see something new at the moment so one thing i really like to buy and why i was shopping at lidl instead of aldi is because i thought lidl had a wider range especially for vegetables so that's my opinion like i couldn't find even spinach in aldi i hope they blow my mind this time so just saying i don't think their vegetable list has changed so much we get to see but until now i really don't feel like their vegetable list has changed so much probably the same thing <laughs> But with more options at the same time so it's like there's more cherry tomatoes here now or like more tomatoes more of everything but nothing really new okay but it does look like they've got a bigger coolant section like version fetish like i think this is bigger they are coolant section and it's going at the entire end so like it's going on yeah like i said they've extended their cooling section like it's coming to the entire end so they have like they probably have more products i'm not sure but we have to keep looking and we'll see what's new in the cooling section then There's still a lot of Haltung's from Ein's product. Um, so, probably I'll find Haltung's from Fear or that's why. But I know they have four because they always had it like this. Oh, they always provide the options, don't they? But let's see what we'll find. Like here, they have their Bio Hackflash. I'm not sure if it's a good thing or it's a bad thing to provide the options for eating organic or not, but probably a good thing because it's cheaper, non-organic. Oh, oh, found something, found something. This. This. This is Ghana salmon, like literally Ghana salmon, in, but it's actually mackerel. So smoked mackerel and i actually used to get this at etika i always if i wanted this i had to go to etika so aldi has definitely done something now <laughs> it's quite obvious with this yeah i can see that they've done something they have smoked ghana salmon or mackerel better still and here i can very well identify the shrimp like or ponds or like the big shrimps they didn't used to have this i know they had this like these small ones you could not really find big ones like they had this type so this is new on their line i remember they didn't have this like it was always like the very small shrimps but now they have like also these big shrimps so that's good they have added on not bad i'll do actually at the end of the line you can find all the uh, sandwich products so like the smoked ham and whatever and right from right from here on this part 
um, they seem to have like the milk products like more milk products and they have like entire cooling, cooling section now they didn't have this also before and it's like a big cooling section for just these milk products they've got sugar because there's someone standing there but it's here on this part of the line you can find like all their dairy products but they're probably dairy free not sure oh it's season time like autumn decorations they're like some really pretty ones like this also no oh, this is so it says on this side they have like all the offers so like the discounts from thursday and i know they were open on thursday so probably that's why i think here you have like bed covers and pillows and some jackets so clothing items and these they are discounting so This is so cute. Makes me want to be a mama. Oh, I'm gonna just pick one of these. Squawk. Did I show you? This one. So, like at the end of the line, you have all the. Uh, yogurt stuff so like all the yogurt products at the end of the line so yogurt products are here and one thing i think i like now is that when you enter aldi the first thing you see is not fizzy drinks like it was one thing about the old aldi that you had a lot of um fizzy drinks so the moment you enter the first thing you saw was all these sugary products but this time they're a bit hidden you have to walk through to find them so and at the entrance you have like bread and there's like this all they have some sweets like every supermarket does but it's good to see that this is not happening here now and fizzy drinks are more hidden so your sugary products are hidden hi guys so i'm home now and maybe i like playing with my hair oh and just saying i did this braids by me anyways i say this every time but um yeah so we just went to aldi this morning and what do i think about it so i'm going to give you my impression about the new algae first of all it's really big at the moment i think it's probably maybe one of the biggest supermarkets now or the biggest supermarkets in bits and housing that's if we have to take out their hmm, the big hercules so yeah it's big it's they've done a good job so it's not like a story building it's still just like flat and um I also think that I swear that I will shop at Aldi. I'll make it my first um, point of shopping or supermarkets, like place to go to shop. I could, I could, I could. Just saying, I could. Yes. Um, the only thing is that I still hmm, find the uh, organic range not so. Very limited I think the organic is very organic range is very, very limited I feel they have more again probably good stuff and um, but if you want to see like that bio organic label on the product I think that's still limited for now in my opinion that besides that it's good I like the fact that you can find a lot of things like before like I said um, I used to go to Lidl to pick some things and Lidl has almost everything Aldi had. The only thing that still brought me back to Aldi was just saying the rice I buy from. My friends still buy their rice at Lidl but I still buy my rice from Aldi. For some reason I think I like the rice they have, the Aldi rice and also I would always go back to Aldi to buy kartoffel puree like potato puree like 
I need that to make my fufu, so I will still go back to Aldi for those things. Also, um, I think before I would go to also take goods to buy things like for baking and all of that. I think I can do that also now at Aldi. I think they've added on, you know, in the past, you also have to buy these things from Edeka, but Aldi has added on. So that's good. This saves you also a lot of time. Um, what else do I think? I still have a problem with their vegetable range. For me, maybe they could, maybe, it's probably not necessary, but maybe they could add more because to buy vegetables, I think I will still go to Lidl. And just saying, personally, I use a lot of um, fresh, um, fresh spinach and or the spinach. About, I think Aldi actually has frozen spinach. I've got frozen spinach from Aldi before. But sometimes I want the fresh ones and you know a few Asian vegetables, bok choy and things like this, Aldi doesn't have. Of course it's not peculiar to Aldi. And one thing I do like about Aldi now, which I probably said in the video, is that um before when you entered Aldi, the first thing that met you was their drink session. And that's like where the fizzy drinks were. Like so the first thing you see when you enter Aldi is like Coca-Cola. Pepsi, all these fizzy drink, fizzy drinks, something Apicola. I don't know if it's called Apicola. Like, basically all the fizzy drinks you saw them when you first entered um, Aldi. And as someone who is like as someone who studies about food sustainability and things like this, um, I've always had um, thought that supermarkets could play a big role in um, controlling how people eat. And which is what I like now about the new Aldi. Is that um, if I want to buy Coca-Cola, I have to go find it. It's not the first thing I see when I enter the supermarket. Of course, when you enter, I still see sweets, which is still Aldi. Like right there on your, when I enter right on the left-hand side, like there's like a whole section for cookies and things like this. And for Aldi, it's mostly the things they have on offer. So like Angibold, so reduced um, to clear kind of things. And mostly you have a lot of cookies and sweets and things like this. Yeah. So it's still one of the first things you see when you enter this um, new Aldi, but I like the fact that the drinks, well, they're not really promoting um, sugar or unhealthy eating, in my opinion, which is um, what um, Lidl changed. And just say, I probably should do another video on Lidl just to so you can see and later give my opinion about the two. Yeah, I probably will do that next. And so, yeah. And yeah, I think I, I do like the new Aldi. Like I like the fact that now when I go and I can buy almost everything. This I really like. You, it, it's now like a one-stop shop. You can buy almost everything you need there now in terms of like your food ingredients. So I like that. I can do that at Aldi now before it was rather limited. I should have searched for one more thing. Um, starch. Aldi normally doesn't have starch and so normally starch we still buy I will buy every time I take good because take good has has starch but I, I didn't search for this. Maybe I I picked very peculiar things which they didn't have in the past, which meant that if I went to Aldi I have to live and go to another supermarket to get these things. So it's why I try to make this review to check the things that Aldi has and like what was new in their line. Um, but yeah, they've added on more things. They've added a very good bio range for milk. I think now I remember that at the milk session, so not in the fridge. I don't remember in the past I saw like this soya milk and all these vegan products. I don't I don't remember, like I said, or if I haven't said it, just saying again. I stopped shopping at Aldi for some time. And I probably went to Aldi just like once a month or maybe twice in a month to pick maybe potato kartoffel puree or their rice or something and also to buy data for my phone so i still use i use aldi talk so to buy data for my phone and so yes so just saying i i wasn't really shopping at aldi for quite some time except to buy to pick these necessary things or that i need in my kitchen but yes that's why i went there this time because i really wanted to see if they will get me back or if they've won my heart so Aldi have you won my heart hmm I don't know but just so you know I would say that um, I think now I will I can shop I can still shop at Lidl, Taygood and at Aldi I can do that because in Lidl, Taygood have offers the most organic products like Taygood is really good for that. Lidl offers 
organic products also enough enough organic products i still don't think aldi is offering enough organic so just saying that i called i called i called shop at aldi of course i like it and I, I really like it it's big enough and they have now more variety and yeah the place i wasn't really shopping was this editor but i always went there just to get this um ghana salmon so mackerel and aldi has this now so this is also really good that aldi has also added this so technically i can buy <laughs> this from aldi because mostly i'm moving direction aldi so towards the city center and i feel like going to edica takes me backwards so i'm normally not shopping at edica but yes that being said i hope you like this video i don't know if you live in bitten housing or around bitten housing and you've been to the new aldi feel free to comment leave a comment i really want to know what you think about the new aldi if you've seen it or if you've not seen it or what do you think about it and yeah i, I want to know maybe and um, some things i said in the video they already had from the old aldi but because i wasn't shopping there i hadn't realized that um, these things were there but all in all i do like the new aldi it's nice it's big <laughs> and their product range is also much so i like this so yeah thank you for watching today's video and see you in our next video maybe hopefully when we do a tour of lidl to show you what lidl did mm -hmm. so see you bye one more thing if you do like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up and also to leave a comment and please hit that subscribe button so that when I do upload more videos or we talk about Lidl next, you know. Bye!